Rise to ruins is seemingly doing well in early access. So much so that the game's developer 60 Gig Gums has closed down. The studio's Patreon and announced that it will be refunding those that pledged to the campaign and done some. Remember, the sole dev behind 60 Gig says that he wants to return twice the amount of every pledge back to those that contributed to the Patreon during the game's ongoing development. It's quite the gesture. And one that bodes well both for the game's developer and those players that followed the game's development on Patreon. Dora notes that the Patreon was originally set up as a rainy day, fun to keep the studio up and running through any rough weather. But the game itself has performed well enough in its four years in early access that the additional income is no longer necessary after some very very careful consideration. I have decided to shut down the Patreon, reads the post on the game's Steam page. The reason being rise to ruins, it only sustains my livelihood and a nice rainy day account that can keep succeeding games running through the hard times now. So I do not feel right taking additional money from you guys. Your support has and always will be appreciated and I thank you all for your pledges, reviews, and of course, buying the game. Past pledges interested in taking the dev up on their offer can find more information on how to do so in that full post. Video Game Deep Kisses Weekly Newsletter from Video Game Industry Watcher Simon Carlos DD Gama Sutra Code Runner Rounding up the best long red stand dot articles videos about games every weekend. This week's highlights include impressions of notable new titles and about the Totem Earl reboot, as well as the last history's writing jam, the history of the game over, screen, the effects of Brexit on the United Kingdom game biz, and lots, lots more besides. Only two weeks TILGDC 2019 now. Oh, and lots of things slotting into place. The day of the devs showcase on site at the show is out of control for starters Blanky to void busters. After party, Samurai and to totally accurate battle simulator. An unannounced double fine game. More, sign me up, sirs. And lots more besides. Until next time, Simon, curator, how Reggie feels same, became a Nintendo legend, Chris, color Kotaku article, in the spring of 2004, the public perception was that Nintendo was in deep trouble, going into the company's E3 presentation in Los Angeles that year, fans wondered which of the company's heroes might appear, in its time of need, to save it. Mario, Link, as it turned out, they did get a new hero, though not the one they expected. Ape Out, is the Sobus inspired power fantasy, I did not know I, wanted, Jeremy Winslow Polygon article. It's a simple idea that this not way around is welcome, the entire game can be, finished, in around 5 hours. But do not mistake, that as a complaint, like a great elevator pitch. A out feels focused and purposeful, leaving me wanting more. How football manager helped a goalkeeper score for his country. People make games YouTube video. How Kaima Kenzie Lyle scored a last minute header for guy on a thanks to the video game. Football manager. Battle Royale, the design secrets behind gaming's biggest genre. Keith, Stuart the Guardian article. Even though the visual styles and the narrative settings of these games are very different, the four giants of the genre adhere to a strict set of conventions. The islands are scattered with towns, villages, and industrial complexes. They all have rivers and bridges and offshore isles, and they are all roughly the same shape. But what makes them so compelling? $100 Camaria seller. It's probably the wrong move. Long term, to sell, Kyle Rowland on's technical article, last week, a copy of the first printing of Super Mario Brothers, 
in pristine condition sold are just over one hundred dollars. 零零零 This week, the collector who sold that jam told us that has been preparing for this moment for years. The seller who asked to remain anonymous to protect his privacy, but goes by the handle Brownty Online, told us he did not even have an ex growing up. The One Six C podcast, gaming goes mainstream. Mark Andreessen, the One Six C podcast podcast. So in this episode of the One Six C podcast, Mark Andreessen interviews Activision's Bobby Kotick on everything. From the evolution of video games in the 1980s to gaming trends more broadly, what changes as gaming goes from just fanners to just for kids, and spreads more broadly into entertainment and cultural phenomena, sports, Fortnite, Pokemon Go, etc., both online and offline. Simon, as noted, originally from a conference late last year. But a vanishingly rare contact chat with an interesting non-game interviewer. Retro histories. The first game over. Chris Chapman. Retro histories. YouTube video. Here's the new release. A short look at the etymology of the expression that perhaps best epitomizes the field of gaming for the largest number of people, and how it goes back further than we might guess. Life after harassment. Next, Silent Hill Dash. Tom Hewlett speaks out. Blakey, Blake, you are a gamer particle. Hewlett popped up in the fandom some time around the spectacularly not good Homecoming. I did not want to be seen as the Homecoming guy. I do you spend the last two and a half years trying to fix it to no avail. But it was with shattered memories the series only for reading to. Motion control on Nintendo way that his name became synonymous with the series. Sadly, for all the wrong reasons, a quantum of wobble with Robin Baumgarten, Joe Messing, or Michael C. Tao podcast. In this episode, Robin wobbles on over to talk about line wobbler, wobble garden, quantum garden, and all the weird questions that they raise about what the hell games. And art and arcades and galleries. Even at this point in history, Road to the If, Casey McQuarters Black Room, Joel Couture Gamma Sutra article. Gamma Sutra spoke with Casey McQuarter, developer of the Novo Award nominated Black Room, to talk about driving come from the chaos of the internet, telling a modern fairy tale through tales and reimagined game worlds. And the challenges of creating a dream-like feel for this personal story. Simon does note lots more if interviews here. Brexit, fear, uncertainty dominate United Kingdom video games industry. Anthony Middle in Variety article. As far as games for you can see, there's no scenario where players are not losing out long term. In an age where online play and digital marketing are the norm. Stepping out of the single market, just to develop use Britain's safe. The story behind that sells motion twin levels Red Bull Gaming video with Notebus. The co-pay on Dicose. This fiercely independent studio are doing things differently. But when huge success comes so unexpectedly, how will this team of eight reach new heights without losing touch of what makes them so awesome? This is motion twin. Everyone hates my big stupid hearts in Red Dead Online. Cas Marshall Polygon article. Red Dead Online, much like Red Dead Redemption 2, gives the player a horse as their primary means of traveling through the world. In Red Dead Online, your horse cannot die, and players carefully weigh the pros and cons of each horse for each competitive task. Unless you are me, in which case. I just picked a giant horse, and all of my friends fucking hate him. Need haste, my loyal friend. Suck nuts on the surviving the publisher shuffle. Brandon's in Claire Gamas industry. This article we spoke with the Jabal Fine founder and studio head Tim Schafer at Dicer Lear this math, and he took exception to the idea that his studio's experiences with 
Publishers have been especially uncommon in games. It's hard out there for a developer, Schaefer said. Our company is not unique in that we have had a roller coaster ride with different publishers for sure, but it's just a part of the business. Point and shoot. What's next for photography in video games? For the Eric Weber The Guardian article. Considering the growing fatigue many players have with killing things in video games, and the tempting prospect of instant sharing and social media virality, perhaps more developers will use photography to let players interact with game worlds and with other players. Video, how command conquer, tiberians unpunished the computers of the day. Lee Hutchinson article video. For this episode of War Stories.